Ohio SMP stands for Senior Medicare Patrol, and Ohio SMP is one of 54 um, SMPs in the country. And what we do is we educate older adults how to stay safe from Medicare fraud and identity theft because they are largely targeted for these crimes and it's very important that they not get scammed. For many reasons, older adults get scammed and one of them is that sometimes they're lonely and they'll talk to someone that they shouldn't talk to. Um, they're, they're thought of as having a lot of money. It's an easy scam to get away with as opposed to doing drugs. So our project is very important. We have volunteers who are throughout the state and we need more. Actually, it's not so much a number, it's more of a quality, but in terms of areas that we really could use volunteers, Southeast Ohio is a real big one that we could use. We could use more people in Northern Ohio. We have a lot of people to do the events, but only one person who does the public speaking. So, um, but as far as what I'm looking for in a volunteer, a really major thing is they have to be reliable. They have, if they're, say they're gonna be somewhere at a certain time, they need to be there. And that's a lot of because it is a statewide project, but also because our offices are based in Cincinnati, so I can't be wherever they are. So, um, the other thing is commitment. They are very committed. They, they don't get into this if they don't believe in it. And another thing I really need is someone who stays within the guidelines of what our volunteers do, and that's the education piece. They're not law enforcement. Uh, they really need to stay within our boundaries. One of our greatest sources of strength and our biggest asset in the SMP program, and this is across the country, is our volunteers. It's a volunteer-based program. The training of our volunteers is incredible, and Jane Winkler, our coordinator of volunteers, she coordinates all this training, and um, these folks can do, as she mentioned earlier, they can do online training or they can have one-on-one -on -one training, but the training is so invaluable. They learn so much about Medicare and about Medicare fraud, how to report this um, Medicare fraud, and what to do about these situations. Oftentimes when they're out in their community, they get asked questions and they may not always know the answer, but they know they can refer it back to our central office in Cincinnati and we can determine what the, the problem or issue might be and refer these folks to other resources or we may refer them to um, through ACL, the Administration for Community Living, that then goes on to the Office of Inspector General HHS, and they're the ones that actually then determine if there is some potential fraud there. The interesting thing about volunteering for Ohio SMP is it's not a scheduled thing. Some volunteers volunteer a lot, but our absolute bare minimum for someone to still be considered a volunteer is to do something once a year. Now that's very few of them who do that little. Uh, most of them who are really involved want to get, want to do a lot for us. Um, the good thing about it not being scheduled is that we have some snowbirds who want to go to Florida during the winter, that's fine. Um, the process for asking a volunteer to do a particular event is to call them or email them. If they're available, great. If they're not, I move on to the next person. It's not like they get a black mark for not being able to go to this event. Oh, I completely determine my schedule. I mean, I, I Jane emails me, hey, here's something available, and I tell her whether I'll do it or not. I'm doing it about, oh, every, every other month or so, some events, either like I have one Thursday or Thursday uh, this week with uh, distributing information at a, a law enforcement conference. Um, then we've done I've done other things like address the uh, state teachers retirement system. Uh, Pro seniors and SMP did a series of presentations to teachers about to retire, uh, and that was very interesting. A lot of good questions and a lot of curiosity on the part of the seniors. So the the desire to 
continue utilizing the information I had developed in my career um, and the desire to provide some service uh, during retirement to other folks and preserve the help preserve the fiscal integrity of the <laughs> Medicare program, which I consider to be very important, all combined to, to lead me to become a volunteer, and uh, I've enjoyed it immensely. Um, I do mostly uh, health fairs and presentations at nursing homes. Uh, I probably do one nursing home a month on average. Uh, health fairs, you know, a lot of them are concentrated in the fall when you have open enrollment for Medicare. So that's the heavy time of the year uh, for us. Um, Jane has told me that over the years I've done over a thousand hours of, of volunteering. Uh, I enjoy it. I like to go out and talk to uh, the seniors. It's, it's fun on my part. And of course, it's, it's become part of who I am. I'm, I'm retired. Um, it's, it's basically my second career in, in addition to a few other things. But uh, I like to talk to the seniors. And you know, it, it really angers me when I see seniors being taken advantage of. And uh, I hope that in some regards, uh, I can contribute to, to helping reduce that. Be a venue's for our volunteers vary and a big partner of ours is OSHIP, the Ohio Senior Health Insurance Information Program and they have events all during the year that they let us be part of and it's great because when we went statewide years ago we needed them desperately because they already were statewide and they helped us get our foot in the door. We go to retiree groups, we go to churches, any place where seniors gather, we go to. Um, it's a variety of education that the volunteers have. Most of them are college graduates, but some of them are not. They, they, they're working people, um, but they, they do very well too. It's not so much how they're educated, as much as that they can learn the information we give them and follow the script that we give. Uh, particularly over the last few years, there's been a lot of confusion about health care. You had the debates about Obamacare and how it was going to be the end of the world. Um, and that relation, the relationship of that program with Medicare engendered a lot of confusion. And then there were those who were taking advantage of that confusion that sowed further confusion out there and so the the most rewarding part of this uh, experience for me is in helping people sort through the confusion and to realize that Medicare is a distinct program from Medicaid and it's not necessarily impacted in all the ways you hear in the news media and in mailers and in phone calls and things like that. So I find that very rewarding because I think people take great comfort in, in uh, clarity. Uh, I, I've had over the years maybe about three or four seniors approach me when I'm talking with them, usually in an earthing home setting, that here's a particular situation. Um, I immediately refer them to Ann uh, because they have the contacts with the, with the police, the attorney general, the inspector general. I am not qualified to do that. Uh, I basically give the standard SMP presentation and I hand out literature at uh, health fairs, and that's the extent of my involvement. The training program, there's two different types. There's one online training, and it covers the basics of Medicare, uh, the background of SMP, Medicare fraud and scams, um, and identity theft. We also have a person who does one-on-one -on -one training throughout Ohio, and this has been a real asset for people who want that in-person training because one thing about volunteers is you want to um, respond to them as quickly as possible. So with him doing one-on-one -on -one trainings and being willing to travel to them to do the training, they get that training in a timely way. I guess it's, it's really important that um, we try to protect the Medicare program. Um, there's about $60 billion lost every year. Some even have estimates greater than that. And we want to protect that program so that the money for Medicare is really spent on the Medicare beneficiaries, not to go to some unscrupulous providers and people that are out there that are taking advantage of our Medicare money. 
um, th that Medicare money is allocated specifically to go to beneficiary health care. And if we, um, if we don't address this issue, the money is, is being given or um, providers and unscrupulous people are, are receiving that tax dollar that everybody should care about. And our volunteers are the reason why they can go out and share that message. And once they share the message to a lot of beneficiaries, the beneficiaries realize that they want those Medicare dollars to be there for years to come so that um, our, our country continues to have Medicare for people and services for those that truly need it. One of the things we do is once they're trained, we do not drop off the face of the earth. We keep them informed in many ways. One is a monthly fraud alert on different topics. It's a one page simple thing that they can use to hand out people they, they work with. I could do a quarterly newsletter. I'm in contact with email a lot with certain things coming up. But the major thing we do is every September or October, we get the volunteers together. We actually pay for their overnight stay if they're traveling from far. And we bring them up to date with certain events. We always have an update from our national convention at that and any other really hot topics and we also give them a gift. One thing we're very fortunate with in this project is we do have money to spend on our volunteers. And that is a real asset. I've worked in places where you didn't have that. We pulled it off, but it's so much nicer to have the money and to be able to do a really great job with it because our volunteers deserve it so much. So we feel at Ohio SMP that the key to uh, Medicare solvency is using our message, which is the message nationwide, to protect the Medicare program, detect possible errors, fraudulent activity, and report that, that activity to the Ohio SMP.